Hello, my name is Debbie Reynolds. They call me the Data Diva. Today I want to talk about data privacy and screen capture spyware. So there are apps out there that actually take screenshots of people's computers and their screens. Uh, there is actually a particular app. Uh, the name of the app is called Tattletale. So PC Tattletale. So what PC Tattletale does, it takes screenshots of someone's screen. Uh, if it is installed on either a phone or a computer, it can take screenshots and send that stuff out to the cloud or to wh whoever uh, installed the app without the person knowing. Uh, this is well, actually a huge problem. This particular app, they uh, advertise themselves as comp as a tool that companies can use for employee surveillance, uh, parents can use for parental control, or even people using it for cheating spouses. Uh, some security researchers found this particular app on computers in Wyndham hotel chains. Actually, they found it in three particular hotels. They didn't say which which and the location of the hotels, but these this application was installed on a computer that takes data for people making reservations at hotels. So the screenshots, whoever installed it, those screenshots of, of the data that was going into those computers for people who were making you know, reservations or checking into hotels, that information was there, including information maybe like the last four of their credit card numbers or different things. Um, this is a huge problem. Uh, partially because uh, sometimes I think that technology is double-edged sword where it can do maybe good things, but then maybe things that aren't aren't so great as well. Also, the uh, capacity or the capability for computers to do things like take, take screenshots and send it to the cloud. Uh, some of these things were not possible before, whether it was... Uh, the space needed on computers, maybe it was the computing power of the machine that it was on, but also being able to have things that could go into the cloud really makes all these things possible. Um, this particular thing, this particular app, in addition, what these researchers found is that there was a misconfiguration in the app. So in addition to it capturing these screenshots, sending it to whomever installed these apps, it was also leaking data onto the open web. So there may be some type of breach situation in there. Um, I think especially companies that have unsanctioned apps that are running on their computers, it's very important to see what they're doing, you know, who's putting them on there, what they're doing, what types of data they're capturing. I think it's going to be harder for companies uh, as we see, especially these tools that are being created in ways that, that don't really show what they're doing. So, so someone just looking at a computer wouldn't be able to see it. So being able to really scan for these apps that are actually taking data from computers and actually sending it to the cloud is a huge problem. I think in the future, you know, we're seeing actually a rise in more spyware apps. Uh, some of the, I think I did a video a while back about Bossware. Uh, so that's also a spyware or kind of surveillance type app. But employers think that that's something that may help them in terms of productivity. Unfortunately, some of these things can be used for purposes that aren't as savory and aren't as acceptable. So I think that companies, when they have these types of applications, first of all, if they're unsanctioned, you want to make sure they're off of computers. If they are sanctioned, you still have to be careful about the types of data it's collecting because you may end up into an unauthorized access data situation or even a data breach situation. That's it. Thank you.